You're watching Love & Hip Hop Miami? Check this out. Season 1. You'll be watching us? Watch the show. For the very first time. You'll be getting our natural and honest reactions. We're watching it with you. The scene you're about to see is me vibing in the studio when Amada comes in with her extra attitude and her extra large afro. When I went to go meet Hollywood, I really didn't think or know that he was also a stylist. <laughs> Not. Let's say we were actually to take off some and do a record, right? And I'm like, yo, I need you to look a certain way. What would a certain way look like? Like, what? It was weird as hell. The only thing he was concerned about the moment I walked through was the way that I look and my throat. You know, the afro is cool. You maybe do, you know what I'm saying, like a video here and there, a certain look, but. You know, maybe try something different, different looks. So wait, I don't get it. What does that it's a elaborate? seasonal thing. Maybe sometimes you might want to, you know what I'm saying, twist it up. Maybe do some braids, some cornrows, flat iron it a little bit, put it to the side, a little bob, you know what I'm saying? So I can't be elegant Epic. if I have a pro? Yeah, I guess so. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. They're going to attack me for that. Mira, Hollywood is un estupido. Being an Afro-Latin, I think I, I embrace it Hold as much as possible. Afro-Latina, elaborate. Yeah. Are you African? Or is that just because you have an Afro? You see that brainwashed mentality that I'm talking about? Uh, hello? You're only a couple of shades lighter than me, like, by this much. At the end of the day, in the music industry, they're looking for cookie-cutter poster childs. So, where are the women that look like myself? You must do good music, huh? I think Amada was getting upset with me because she wasn't getting what she used to. I'm pretty sure a lot of dudes be drooling, being all thirsty and all just, you know what I'm saying, open to, hey, you know what I'm saying, trying to catch the vibe, but I'm good. I didn't mean to offend you, I didn't try to come off with you that there way. There you go, you're, so yeah, if that, you were offended, you're going good. <laughs> I offended you. I was doing good, but I gotta keep it 100 years psychotic. But the whole fact that you're trying to make it an issue and like keep conversating instead of just be like, yo, scratch that, let's work, let's talk about something, it's crazy. You. If you guys ever find yourself a rinky dinky ass producer like Young Hollywood telling you that you need to change the way that you look in order to be successful, don't listen to them! The next scene you're about to see is Atlanta Shay acting up at the Pretty Ricky reunion concert. Right now, man, we holding it down, man. We about to represent for Dade County. I was good. <laughs> the guys are sounding okay only because my man is standing right there leading every single song. She looking good, you know what I'm saying? She looking good. But when she came out of mouth funny, you know what I'm saying? I had to go in here to regulate real quick. What you doing here? I'm here to support my man. That's what I'm here doing. That's what they talking about. Man. Yeah, support my man. The group looks amazing outside of the little sparkly guy in the corner. I don't know what the hell he got on, but I will be asking questions after this. Bro, where you found that hoe at, bro? A halfway house? <laughs> you so tired. Shut your ass yeah, up. Yeah, tired here with my man. Look at this tired ass. I mean, a weed looking f***ed up. Right now, it look like she shop at the dollar store. The only thing tired is your outfit. Because from head to toe right now, you really looking like a disco ball. Oh. Kiss my ass. Matter of fact, go on a diet, bitch. You look pregnant. Nah, baby, I'm mother eating, baby. For me, it's very immature for two people to be going back and forth like this because it gets nowhere. Like, what's the point of it? You know what I mean? For you to allow a mother to disrespect me that I don't Everybody even know. Disrespect you I'm though. not talking about you. It was the that had the shiny on. How about that? Man, Shay throwing shade at a player and I don't even know her. I ain't never seen her before. But pleasure wanna be here pillow talking with her, talking to her about our business. At the end of the day, I see how he feel from how she reacting. Don't just come at me and you don't even know who I am or know what the is going and on I with this. People. I'm not disrespecting you. I'm not disrespecting nobody, going. but I'm disrespecting your <laughs> monkey ass, you Shut your bitch, ass up. weak ass, fat ass, funky ass, pregnant looking ass. Look Man, when it comes to P defending the group over his girl, that's like a touchy subject. But at the same time, he pulled her to the side and he tried to get her together. Look, look, why? Why you ain't say nothing? Why you yelling? Ask yourself that Like, I'm good. I'm why good, B. I see where you at. I'm, I'm good. good. I'm good, too. Blue feels like because we've been through so much to get to the point of being back together, and now here she come trying to ruin everything. Shay's point of view, she just trying to be protective of me, and she have her way of doing that and it's not always needed. I'ma go give you my ass to kiss, you wink ass bitch. I don't feel bad at all for turning up backstage, defending myself, cause guess what? Wasn't nobody else there doing it for me, so I was the only one tooting my own horn. It felt like I was single for a minute. 
Welcome to the 305 Love and Hip Hop fam. Do yourself a favor and subscribe to the VH1 YouTube channel to watch more videos. Don't miss the action.